are the cost uh, that I incur to set up a charity event, are those deductible? Uh, well, that can be very cumbersome. Uh, if the charitable event uh, is sponsored by and the ultimate beneficiary is a qualified charitable organization, then the cost you incur will be the same as a donation to that charity. Um, at the end of the day, the charitable event itself uh, is going to have almost like its own little income and expense uh, calculation uh, because there's going to be proceeds from the event. Let's say you have a silent auction, uh, you're going to have to rent a facility, uh, you've got some other costs perhaps for providing coffee or juice for the silent auction. Uh, those expenses will go to reduce the net proceeds that will ultimately end up going toward uh, to the charitable organization. But from an individual standpoint, the best way to do that from a practical standpoint is let the event itself pay for those expenses. So we have volunteers who may have to front the money, for example. You pay $100 as a deposit on the, the venue for the charitable event. Have the, the event itself reimburse you for the $100. Uh, now that $100 uh, is recognized by the charitable event. If you then want to contribute $100 to the cause, then actually your $100 won't be in the form of the, the deposit or for the coffee or for the donuts. Your $100 is going to be a check made directly to the charitable organization, just like the other people who are participating in the silent auction. That's the best way to document your contributions uh, to the event and or the charitable organization. So hopefully that's a, that's a helpful uh, hint. And then that's also going to end up right back on your Schedule A like we talked about a few minutes ago uh, with the non-cash contributions.